Or you, know, you notice Nick's in a rush to go get his daughter, right? <laughs> Please wake up, pick up your daughter. <laughs> hey everyone, Ryan Young, Comic Jiu Jitsu. Hope you're doing well. If you hear any noises and laughter and all that, it's because I'm not the only one in the room here. Rusty's behind, we've got Karma there, and we've got Nick over there, so. Many of you have seen Nick, uh, he, he's the, the bald guy that did the video on not letting yourself get slammed. So today's video we're gonna do on, it, it's kind of a couple of things. Number one is kind of a, a graphical or pictorial, visual image of uh, learning uh, linearly, like we do but also kind of a, uh, an answer to those people who would contend, hey, you know, come into your school and I don't wanna wear the white bar on my blue, purple, brown, whatever black uh, belt that you have, right? Because I earned this belt and therefore I should be able to keep my belt. And what we did was instead of taking a belt away, because when Kama Jiu Jitsu first opened, Dave had pretty strict criteria on what constitutes a, very, a, a, per, a particular belt. But what we've done is we've kind of created a compromise of sorts that allows people to keep the color they earned, but having a white bar on the belt just simply lets them know, lets the instructors know, lets the students know that they haven't gone through uh, the requirements in our school to have the belt. So then some people will say, hey, Ryan, you know, you guys are pretty arrogant. You guys think that you guys have the, the most stringent criteria for, for whatever color belt. It's not as stringent. It's just, it, it, it's a little different concept. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're at a school where they teach randomly, meaning you go into class and today it's gonna to be arm bar from the guard, tomorrow it's gonna to be it's gonna be hook sweeps, on Wednesday it's gonna be mount chokes, on Thursday it'll be guillotines. You know, it, it's just, it's a random type thing. And when you get back to guillotines, who knows? It's just whatever the instructor's gonna to teach today. So most schools don't have a curriculum. Most schools teach randomly. It's just stuff that the instructor has learned over the course of his time training, and that's what he's gonna teach. And as far as what he teaches today, it could be just whatever he pops in his head. Maybe he saw something on YouTube and thought, hey, this is a good concept. Let me go over that with my students. And that's what he ends up teaching. With us, it's more structured, meaning we have set things in the curriculum. So these, these are just examples of what would be bullet points on, or numbers, I just use letters instead for our curriculum. So I'll give an example. Let's say this column here represents all the self-defense concepts that we have. This column here represents the non-self-defense concepts that we have, right? So we really have three components in our curriculum. We have the self-defense concepts, which could be starting from your feet. It could be things like bear hugs and chokes and stuff like that. It could be punch defense. We have the, the, the ground concepts with the gi and the ground concepts without the gi. So this would represent the common jiu-jitsu's ground game and it would be gi and no gi because we have versions of the same thing with the gi and without the gi. This would be our self-defense concepts. Now these concepts out here, these are simply techniques that exist that we don't necessarily do. For instance, I'll just give you an example. We don't do stuff like the barambolo. We don't invert. Right. And these are all concepts that are that are well established in Jiu Jitsu. We don't do the deep half, right? All would fall into here. So groundwork, self-defense, concepts that exist that we don't do here. So now let's say you come into a school, you come into our school and you're brand new and you want to get to the point of earning your blue belt, obviously. So what will happen is you'll go through all these self-defense concepts. You'll also go through maybe that many of our ground concepts. You know, it's not just four concepts, it's just proportionally speaking. And this is what takes you to blue belt. All of this plus this. Now you wanna earn your purple belt. You're gonna earn, you're gonna learn a few more concepts here. You're still gonna go through these again, which means you're gonna have even more experience doing these. Plus, you're going to go through these in greater detail and learning these brand new. So this gets you to your purple. And then from here, 
We're gonna add a couple more concepts to get you to your brown. But you're also going to go over the concepts you learned in Purple Belt, and you're gonna go through what you learned as a Blue Belt once again. So if you look at a brown belt, a brown belt knows everything the white to blue learned, learns, knows everything the purple to brown knows. And they also know it to a better execution level than the one who just went from white to blue. A person from white to blue has only gone through this to one degree. Whereas a person who's a purple belt has gone through it to a second degree, purple belt execution we call that. And the brown belt has gone through it even more so. So what you have is you have white belt concept these three check marks by the brown belt represents brown belt execution. So in that way, that is how you progress through our curriculum. You know, and obviously the, the brown belt will have gone through this even more. So the brown belt will understand and be able to recall these concepts without any, without any thinking, without having to think easier, more easier, at, a, at an easier rate. No, that's not right. We'll be able to recall it more efficiently than the blue belt will. But you have to go through it constantly to get it in your central nervous system. So that's where the experience of a brown belt comes in and compares to a blue belt. Now let's say you come in from another school and you come in wearing a brown belt, but you don't know these concepts to the degree that a brown belt will. But you do know, you do know every one of these concepts while a student here may know none of it. This is what you did, and you did some of these. Let's say you've done this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and you've done a couple of these, but you haven't done them to the repetition that we've done them here. If you look at all the tick marks you have, you have a ton of tick, tick marks, a lot of them, just as many as any of the, the students here at the same level would have as you. The difference is the tick marks are in different spots. So when you come in with this knowledge, that's not what you need. You're coming in with, a, with, a, with a, a wealth of knowledge that you developed over the years, but you still don't have all these, these boxes checked. You still need to go over these and you need to go over them again to get to the level that they're at here. That's really the only difference between belts. That's all it is, right? It's not that you, you didn't spend the time because you obviously did. So I would contend that what you learned is a different martial art. And what we're learning is a different martial art but it's all still called jujitsu. So I think that's where a lot of the problem comes in. So let's say you're a jujitsu brown belt at a school that does this, right? A lot of competition stuff, right? We do very few of it. And the thought is you come into it, you, you moved. And when you moved, you came to the town where we're at and you decide you wanna come and train here. And you're thinking jujitsu is jujitsu. We still call it jujitsu. Let's say a school has all this in their curriculum but there's no step-by-step -step way to learn it. It's kind of you learn here, 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 and there's no, okay, we're gonna come back to this one on this day. If you saw the video on the circular method of instruction, that's kind of what we're doing, except with circular even, if you're learning in a circular manner, you're still going through the entire curriculum. Whereas a lot of schools have a curriculum, but don't go through it all. They might spend three months working on one concept here and um, spend a day on this one and not come back to this one for five years. So you could have instruct, you could have students that have been there four years and have never seen this concept, even though it's in the curriculum. That's one thing to keep, uh, keep, keep an eye out for as well. But with regard to this video, really just comes down to checking off boxes. If you can check off the boxes, then that gives you the level that we're at. There's not, you know, there's only a tiny subjective criteria for, for, for belt ranks at Kama Jiu Jitsu, but most of it is objective. If you know what you need to know, then you're gonna get the belt. So I hope that this visual helped to clear things up for you and give you an idea of why you might be at a school wearing a certain belt and not getting a promotion. Or why you may go to a certain school and this, this instructor says that you're not gonna wear that belt, you're gonna wear this belt. Try not to worry about the belt, just try to find out what the boxes are you need to check and then go check them off. Instead of become frustrated and say, I did all of this and you're not recognizing me for the fact that I did that. You know, I'd love to recognize you for it, but it's just not in our curriculum. That's really all it is. And I'm, and I'm no different, and, and Common Jiu-Jitsu is no different than any other school, well, a lot of other schools that will do that. And But if you go from one school that teaches randomly to another school that teaches randomly, then you're probably just fine. But if you go from a school that, that teaches randomly to one that teaches by strict curriculum, then you're, you're gonna have a little issue there. 
At any rate, oh, and then you got offended because some of you guys do. Anyway, take care. Happy training. Bye now.